Welcome back to Pyre. Let's continue our journey. Oh, sorry. I'm The inverted soul of Solium roars into the sky. Somewhere beyond it lies the common world, beyond your vision and beyond your grasp. If only you could just fly home right now. Looks like this thing just can't go any higher though, and it's a long way up the fall, isn't it? You'll get there yet, just have to keep going. Your son's battery show a pale taper from the scribes of man here, since he had been shopping the taper. I should not be able to get rid of battery than you can see on me. You land amid the quiet solitude of Mount Alodiar, at whose summit awaits the liberation of the Let's begin our third ascent to the fall of Solium. My agents in the Commonwealth reports our plan is proceeding. Let us strive again to liberate one of our own and raise its chances. My lovely reader comes to me again. To what do I owe the pleasure? Just name the victim and I shall be more than pleased to make him or her suffer credit. Yeah. You ask Sandra to administer one of her special tries for Bedroot, the old book crown then? She does have some potential, I should I think, more so than most of those with whom you shared little residence. Then let us bring her forth. Soon Bertrud appears in the heat of the sun. We sense that thou hast need of us. Mm. Sandra appears and on fast in silence. Listen well, Crone, you answer to me here. Yeah. How very eloquent. May your vast experience exceed your knack for present conversation. I trust that you shall have little trouble here without the benefit of your more communicative friends. Now, come.
simple test and the reserve the cold challenge. I ought to fail you just for promoting Chrome, but these are not my rules, and your performance was sufficient. Thus, you have passed my test. Congratulations are in order to you and to your lovely reader. Now, farewell! That we love you. Show us then what trinkets she bestowed upon us. We stay. With some time to spare after having landed, you join Hedwin on a brief expedition to the monument of hope to swallow. Is this going to be my chance? I can't help but wonder, but. I need to clear my mind of this. This is all just a distraction. I want to return so, so badly. And yet, while my friends remain here trapped, I want to help them free themselves. Please help me in this. So you and he are finished paying respects. You return to the wagon in silence, feeling as though how the swallow has shown you favor. You shall soon begin your ascent, though there is time as yet to pursue your vocations. You gain quickness. You and Faye discuss the meaning of the rights, developing a deeper understanding of this contest, created to determine a worthy form among all those pitted against each other. It was the will of the scribes that we need to give a up to the stars. I'm so grateful to them for having you all. <sighs> Edwin seems preoccupied with something that sees you as your pro. Hey, my friend, come join me for a bit. His smile returns as you draw me up. What a mess we've gotten ourselves into. Gotten you into. I just. It's something I feel bad about. Back when we found you in the sand folds, did you have any idea what you were getting into? You reply that for all the struggles you have had to face together in this week, you remain grateful for this journey. For it is not so that through such struggles and the other bonds of friendship made stronger, that we not his head in a I think you're right about that. I I guess if you can read the stars, then reading matters of the heart might not be all that difficult either. This is nothing more for some time. Look, there's something else I wanted to tell you. You've guided us through this whole ordeal. We've come to depend on having you around. But when the time comes, I hope you do what's best for you. I know being part of a group like this, it's supposed to be all about the group, all about the greater goal, and I get that. It's just, I don't think you owe any more to me or anybody else. All of us, we all have problems, right? We wouldn't be here if we didn't. We're all a part of this and we're all helping one another through it. But in the end, no one's responsible for our own problems except us. So whether it's the business between Tamifa and Tamifa, or Sir Dilman and his honor, or me or anybody else, it's for each of us to sort it out. I'd like to think that that's why we're here. The perspective that we gain knowing each other, I think it's helped us all make it this far. But in the end, our problems are our own. No one's expecting you or anyone to set them right for us, or so I keep saying to myself. It's all any one of us can do to deal with our own problems, then to also have to deal with each other's. I think we're all just grateful at this point to have each other for support. So thank you my friend for yours. 
I'll take care, I'm off for a bit. He lays a hand on your shoulder as he heads out of the wagon. You sense the Gilman shall gain favor from the scribes along this route. You sense Rook shall gain favor from the scribes along this route. While traversing the splendors of the way to the sun, it will pass a monument to John where many may. And Rook happens to take notice. Hey scribes, it's your pal and everyone else that won't rookie green tail here. Just stopping by, it's a hello, it's all. If you're feeling generous, just what I let you know, I'd sure like to get out on out of here this time, okay? So let me out, okay? I would owe you work. Soon you and he are finished paying your respects. As you prepare to continue your ascent, you sense that Jumar Many Men has shown you favor. Rookie gave presents. You and your companions arrive again at the scribe's gate before an archway carved of stone. Shall we be there? The minstrel leads you toward his counterpart, who seems unsurprised to see you all approach. The exile for the night wings, and you again, Tarit. Reading Celeste. I we have returned. The stars shine darkly this past night. Nothing more than a portent of your arrival, is it? That will nothing more. Now they are ready for you. Then come forth. Each of you, in turn, please state your name and what it is that you seek while crossing Scribe's Gate. Wait, you. She points to very true. You are new among this group. You shall go first. This, well, she asks Bertrand, madame. We are no throughout the dancing spirit, Bertrand. We follow Sandalwood, for we are fond of him. He led us into exile, and he showed us out. The gate guardian acknowledges her, and motions for the rest of you to proceed. Everyone does so, as before, including you. Once you all have declared yourselves, she regards you all for another moment. And becomes what the man can stop. The eight scribes bid the night wings welcome. Go forth with glory. Thank you, Celeste. Until the summit, Tarik. <laughs> I guess it's a pretty decent spot for business also, so that because it's to be a little bit up here, you know? <laughs> we be here and just wait and wait and wait and sometimes you feel a little cold like I was telling you before and stuff like that, so anyway, you buying anything or what? Yeah, I'm doing business with you guys, so, uh... <laughs> Again, you have reached the Fall of Solia, where one among you can go free, provided that you prevail against the essence in your operation. Reader, you would ask a moment of your time. We have to talk. As darkness falls, the Mitra of Wolfet pull you aside. We have some news uh, that is, depending upon how you look at it, potentially unfortunate. 
The lone wolf who directs you at this boat does not scream. The stars are fading. It is true, with the advent of the titan stars, basically fewer stars seem to be shining than the ones you saw in the night sky above. Yes, the stars themselves are vanishing. Why? I do not yet understand. But what it indicates is this the rites are drawn to an inexorable end. The light of the stars, without it, the rites would be unable to commence. Anyway, that is the bad news. The good news is there are a lot of stars to go. How many liberation light remains, I do not know as yet. The arithmetic is complicated. An estimation of the number of the stars, the rate at which they fade, the accelerating rate at which we remain some here. Anyway, I work it out as soon as possible. For now, I felt that you should be aware. We can inform the others in due time. At the moment though, they have this right to think about. And so do you. Look forth. As the stars above begin to shine, Wolfred's words begin to sink in. It seems you have a limited number of chances of remaining to liberate your companions, including this one now. Congratulations, Rita. It would appear the rites are drawing to a close. Doubtless the doing of that Orlek in all his bitter spite. For now, your exiles have another chance at freedom here upon the fall of Solium. So too do your adversaries, the Essence. They fought so very bravely for this moment. Whichever side prevails soon shall send one of its own into the warm embrace of civilization. The pyres burn and each of the triangulates is present and prepared. I concur, the pyres burn and the each of the triangulates is present and prepared. Then, anointed one of the essence, come forth now and declare yourself, and pay any respects you have onto your adversaries, the Nightwings. Tamifa swoops down from somewhere and unfastens her mask. I am no Tamifa Tai. I mean to return to my ancestral home and promptly resume my responsibilities as flight practition of the Highly Remnants. A long stalemate against the Commonwealth shall soon be ended. Should I and several of my sisters manage to rejoin our clan, then our vengeance shall be swift and full. Your quarrel with the country that cast you into exile is beneath the notice of the scribes, Tamifatai. Here, you shall be judged under the stars. My quarrel with the Commonwealth is all that gave me and my sisters strength enough to reach this point. The scribes of the world take heed of how my people suffer. We are not weaklings anymore, like you, Triestatiatis. We shall not fall in line with fightless fools and their naked attempts to subsume our heritage, our culture. Speak not again thus of the same, or you shall be expelled, Tamifa Time. Tamifa scoffs, then turns your attention toward yourself. And the night wings, as for you, the fury shall immediately show is nothing in comparison to the hatred growing for the commonwealth in the mountains on the other side. She signals to her sisters to be ready to result. You seek your freedom, but there shall be nothing save for devastation should you manage to return. As for you, night wings, you bring darkness with you. What have you wrought upon the stars? Celeste, please, we do not know what it what is amiss here. The Nightwings have come only to see that the liberation is carried out. Indeed, then, make your choices, Nightwings. Who among you is to be atoned, anointed here? 
Who shall return to glory? Faye! Oh, you mean me? That I get to go home, but it scribes? What if they still want me to stay? Who shall be at her side? Sorry. You got it, sister. Let's get her out of here. Tizo. Tizo is more than willing to help Faye get home. Now I got that dragon. Well, the final obstacle to overcome. Yeah, I can soar again. Above your commonwealth. Such destruction as will rain upon it soon. But first, let us dance this final time. Now, my sisters, then what the book says, advanced strike formation, prevail here against this wretched, no matter the cost. In this regard, oh, for the ways of rights, Tamifa Time has ordered the triumvirate to push further afield, adopting an even more aggressive stance for the main of his life. Wings proved their worth. They surpassed their adversaries in the end. Thus ends the liberation rite. And thus the scribes have chosen. The exile appointed by the Night Wings shall be free. Absolved of all misdeeds. 
return to glory in the Commonwealth. Her adversary and all others shall remain to carry out their rightful sentences. Damn you for this, Panifa. All of this because of you. I can go home. I think this means I can go home. She shuts her eyes. Why this crimes? Why this crimes? But what will happen now to you? To all of you? Can you not come with me? No, no, they say nothing. The scribes, they say nothing. Although, I think your time will come. Your time will come. And I'll wait for you. Because I don't have friends back home. At least, I didn't used to, so... I want you to come join me there, okay? But now, the scribes are calling me. And so, goodbye. She falls into the shimmer pool. Then she and she is gone. Goodbye, and please subscribe to the button for them, okay? Far and bad perfume. Godspeed, Moon Touched One. The eight scribes are ever merciful. By their grace, the cycle of the rites may yet continue for a while. Until the turning of the stars, farewell. You prevailed in the liberation against the essence. Already there was the black wagon feel quieter than usual without the return to the Commonwealth. You overhear some of your companions protect my words. Why am I gonna complain though about Fizzy around? Fizzy is trying to console Ricky with an inconsistent song. You wonder who, if anyone among you, shall be the next to go. Then Wolfert asks the group to gather. He says, you know, what news he is about to share. Everyone, I must apologize for such news at this late hour, but I thought that you all would wish to know. As soon as possible. The context of a plan has changed. He looks about at everyone before going to them. What stars have revealed to you both? The stars above are disappearing. They seem to just be fading away one by one. For reasons that the scribes alone may know for certain. Though we all may harbor our suspicions. See for yourselves. If you have any doubt that this is so, a hush falls over all over your companions, all exhausted from the night and now stand into silence. If this phenomenon continues unabated, uh, and we have every reason to believe it shall, then the rites shall end, shall cease when the stars no longer shine. Permanently cease, that is. Your companions exchange glances. You sense negative emotions rising, confusion, fear. Before, I gave you the impression that should the night king soon prevail in moderation right, you will be other chances. This remains so, however. Our chances are now numbered. The exact number I have yet to ascertain, but to be quite frank, there are more of us than we have chances left. You sense as your fellow exiles are beginning to realize what this means. I know this must be difficult to hear, but it is not to be a cause of pain. Our plan remains essentially unchanged. We shall take which opportunities arise and return as many as we can. I urge you all to take whatever time you need to think this through. At dawn, we shall head south again to Moonlight Alcove. We can discuss this further then. Now, please get some rest. Our path goes harder. Though not insurmountable, not while we stand together, we can still prevail. The group disperses, some whispering harsh tones, others turn to the water speechless. There will be time later to better understand this only.
own kingship. Each one of us within the Eight, besides the Imp Hau, we would have perished in the downside had we not found each other and together found our union. Here in the downside we are all are bound down. But that which brings us here does have some latitude. We chose the both of the bond of kinship. Our exile took precedence over our differences. The empire which had subjugated all our kind to a tense alliance shall give way to a society in which our differences are paramount. There may you embrace your ancient cultures whilst jointly forming a great culture all its own. Next to mercy, it is kinship that shall form the bedrock of our commonwealth. After the liberation of faith and the lone minstrel back in the wake and looking as though no such thing has just occurred this night, you think you see him tilt his head as you go. Some words of congratulations are in order for this evening. I should think you there, and so, congratulations on prevailing in the liberation night. Truly, Faye shall be most grateful, and her safe return onto the Commonwealth would benefit the plan in which you all know now play a part. As for you, adversaries of the essence, this must have been a bitter loss for them and Tamiha, although they must have known the chance was far from certain. Thus shall we all await the next turn of the cycle of the rites, Celeste and I are to return to our respective duties for the time, as now, Crab's gate is sealed. I await when next we all shall meet, when next we may yet live up the glory of the night winds, in the eyes of the ex scribes which yet shine down for us. He trails off the nose to you in his cordial manner, he bids you a good rest of the evening. An unusual etched card for picking the greater titans, probably for curses and enchantments. And that will be it for today. Thank you. Bye bye!